All right, there he is. Or actually, it's Genelith, I think. So there it is, as Elf. Ooh. I've not actually had a chance to this theme that long in this game yet. The instrumentals in this theme are actually pretty legit. I didn't even realise. I think the last time we came in here was when we faced um, Jupiter, which is why then we got to hear this theme. This is quite a good theme, you know. Alright, I see it. Alright. Time to do what we came here for. Let's go as Elf. Alright, that's still good. Ooh, that little bit there where it goes into like, the groovy bit. The electronics and everything sets off. That would actually be really nice. Okay, okay. Oh, that theme sounds great by the way. This is actually one that I actually think this could be the top three themes of the re of the remake of the remade themes in this game. This could be top three like. Alright, let's go find the wave. Present, okay, as expected, right, that's fine. That's fine, run away. And now it all is all about getting it close to 1 HP. Now, I don't have false pipe on my Galadian yet, but uh, yeah. That'll be after I can pull something up to bite, that's super super effective. Good range, actually. That's a flinch. As long as you don't get a super high roll here, that should actually be into the red, I think. Perfect, that's really good range. And actually, that's super good range. But now, I think it's just throwing dust balls and let's see if we can get lucky or not, right? Let's do it as elf. One, two, three. Not quite, not in the first ball, that would have been really good. Also, I've just realized, guys, if you if first one I should always do the quick ball because time. Five, I think this? Times five, times ten, something like that. Can't remember, but. Yeah, on the first turn of battle, no matter like if it's at full health or not, uh, quick ball's always the uh, best ball to use, so I forgot about that, so make sure you use that. Okay, no shakes this time. Okay, ball three. Let's see what we got. One. Three. Nope. Okay. Honestly, like 70% of the time whenever I do that first shake, I don't expect to stay. If it doesn't break it immediately on the first shake, you already know immediately you've got it. That's how it works in this game. One, two, three. See, yeah, I mean, it's like, before the even the you know, like even comes off with the first shake, it like gets rid of it. See. Thank you, Simba. It's gonna be inevitable. We get quite a few free shakes. It's inevitable we get added up pretty soon here. I think you know. One, two. Not quite. Okay. We're getting closer and closer. You know what I'm saying. One, two, three, got it, there we go. Got that one out of the lay, that's how I know. Gotcha, that's as well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the first of the lake trio done. I've always loved the design, unfortunately just aren't that great. Save our game, so now it's just locked in. Are we leaving with luxury again? Yes we are, okay cool. Alright, time to do the second link on you guys. You can see that a lot like what they call it as well, in terms of we paralyze it, try to get down to 1 HP or, or as close to, and chuck dust balls. Alright. You can see, hello. If, compare, if we're talking competitive sake, that's the best out of three. And actually, it's the only one that actually gets used in competitive, I believe. I think I see as used rarely, once or twice, but you can see it's used a lot, like, at least when I used to be competitive, so. Ooh, it's faster, okay. Thank you, not bad. How much time for talking? Respectable, to be honest. On the way. Nice. That comes off. Now, I do believe it's things more defensive. I don't know what defensive it is, if it's physical or special. I'll find out when I use Bite here. If it's about the same damage as Azel. Okay, definitely more defensive, although that might just be both defenses, to be honest with you. Alright. One more bite actually might put into the radar here. So yeah. mm, I feel I did quite a lot of damage that time. I don't really think I can hit it. 
Yeah, I don't really think I'm in a situation where I can realistically hit it, to be honest with you, so yeah. Not good. I'm trying to think of a resisting hit here, what I can do here. Uh, let's go for the Aqua Jet, but I don't think Aqua Jet will actually take care of it, even though it's there. It crits. Okay, well that's why I saved, so I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, Dust Ball? Come on. Ah, wow, my thing is really resistant, isn't it? Not even a single shake. It's not in the red, but still. Oh, oh, we got it. Okay. For not for kicking out basically uh, the first our uh, first attempt every single time. Kind of surprised we got all that soon. That's why I was being quiet. I was just gonna go a few more balls and switch over to timer balls and cut that footage out, but we actually got it. Okay, cool. Uh, you see summary. Life's nature, defense, special defense. Yeah, um, you know if it wasn't for that special defense going down, you would notice how high that special defense would also be. That's kind of a bad nature because defense is the other thing that's good about you, see. So you would want probably your physical attack to be lowered. And your defense to be up or something like that. Because, uh, yeah. You can see how high your defense are at level 50. Just give you an idea. Crazy, right? Alright, Lake Verity itself. And we can step over to the cavern. Boom, there we go. And you ready for this, guys? Verity Cavern. Oh no, I forgot to say whatever will I do. You don't battle it. Anyway. Yeah, it flew off somewhere. I like how they actually reversed the camera in this version, no, I just had him walking behind you. The carry, that was Mesprit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what you asked you to do at the can leave library. Remember how he asked us to go get data on Mesprit? There we go. I asked you to get data in the Pokemon of the Lake and you did. But it didn't provide any answers about the mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it only deepened the mystery. But I think mysteries are solved, that adds to my enjoyment. Sure does, man. Good, good year. You carry it, why don't you cheat after Maze for it? To me, it seems as if I wanted to play with you. If you were to use the marking map app on your Poké, you'd be able to track the movements of Pokémon. Go on here, carry. I'm sure that you will keep meeting countless Pokémon and people. All the characters will keep thrilling you in their own special ways. I hope you enjoy the experience. Take care, here, carry. Now you know why I told you I wanted to get the marking app as soon as possible. So there'll be now walk out here, right? Bring up the Poké. Bring up the marking map. Remember I told you it'd be a monster icon like in the game if I include that in the episode? I did say that in a raw recording, but I don't know if I included it in the episode yet. This the icon right here? Yeah. And then when we change location, or fly to a new location, that'll also change. So we keep going between the routes, right? Okay, we're not on triple F yet. Okay. Every time we do that, it's gonna whiz around, right? Every time. Every time it's going to change location. Right on top of Jubilee, and it's in the, and it's in the route. Now, you want to know a good way to actually encounter this thing without encountering other wild mons? Because we encounter all the wild mons, I think it's got a chance of actually um, going ahead and uh, running away. After what the encounter with another random mon. So, if I, if I got to revive, yes I do. Okay, cool. So we're going to use the repel trick, right? Because the wild and Pokemon here are too low level to run into me, right? But Mesprit is, I believe, level 15. I got level 48 mon. Her repel trick, I believe, is um, an item that prevents any low level wild Pokemon from jumping at you. So it's the any the mon that is one level lower than you or below. I think even if the same level as you, they can still encounter you. So we go to where he is in the map, right? On the route. Seems to be higher up on the route according to the little icon. So it should be somewhere around about here. Based on the location, based on the little square, it should be somewhere around here. And there's the encounter. If you get this music, you know you got it. There you go, mess bro. Now, like in Romar, Turn one, this thing, this thing gets a chance to run away. It will. It doesn't pull you right away. I think in the original game, it did. You can actually do an attack to it. But if you're smart and you kept 
there's either of the two rubies you can use this. I didn't say it before to do a random quick ball as a meme, but I believe unlike the original games, if you save, reload the save, it stays in its location, it doesn't go somewhere else random like it used to. So, just to make this thing easier for myself, and because by the time I've played a lot in the post game, I should have a meme like Pokemon, aka Honchkrow, or I believe Gengar can work too. I'm going to use my Master Ball for this one, because it's kind of got bits of pink, and I think it suits the Master Ball color scheme, honestly. And it's my favorite of the three Lake Guardians, so this is the one I want to use the Master Ball on the most, and there we go. I knew from the start, before I even play this, play this game, Master Ball was going to be expert, because it always does me. I don't want to say the name of the other um, on... Um, is that mythical? I think it is. I think it's considered a mythical. I don't want to say it yet, because um, these people don't know what so it's not a spoiler, right? And then what the other um, rumor is. But we got made for it. Turn into actually chicken summary. Jolly nature. Yeah, because that's actually quite good. Actually, no, special type went down, that's not so good. Because that made for it, I believe, as elf is pretty attackive, like attack, attack wise. You can see it's more defensive and Mace is an all arounder, I do believe. So I'm going to send it to a box. And I'm going to sort my box set real quick. We'll go with the contest looking one, yeah. And then uh, we'll switch to this one, right? Well, I the El Capalcio one, there is one better than that. At least in my opinion. We're going to go with the Legend on the Platinum one to get Retina. But trust me, we will be encountering technically two Garotinas in this game at some point. You'll see. The second one is actually a new feature in this game that I saw from a video already, so I kind of got spoiled, spoiled on it. But it was my choice to watch the video. I'm not really too bored about that. I knew it was going to be in the game anyway, so. But anyway, all of that in the way. Let's go double check something. Pokedex. All 151 species. Well, technically it's 150, but with Manaphy 151, right? All 51 seen in the Snow Dex, which there are a couple more features you can get. You can breed a field Manaphy with a Dirt to get a Fiona, 152, Shaman 153, Dark Ride 154, and if Arceus is an event in this game, because it was never an actual full fledged event that was distributed properly without Action Replay being affected by it, but Action Replay is how you can cheat it in. But I believe the only way you can actually get it legitimately through an event was only in Japan, Diamond and Pearl. Or it was in Planet, I don't remember which one it was. But technically, you get 155 mods here. But uh, yeah. Oh, I'm technically 156 because if I got Garotina, it's not in Diamond Pro Dex because it's not as a platinum thing, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's the completing the decks, right? If I now go to Sandrum Town. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look at that outside. I forgot. Once you beat the game, you can also do this. Hold on. Look at this. Hey, Gary, let me take a look at your Pokedex. I'll have to see any kind of Pokemon in Sinnoh. Have you shown this Pokedex to Professor Rowan yet? I don't know, why is he not telling me about swarms? Fuck my cameras. Maybe it's after I do this, hold on. But anyway, now that I've got complete Sinnoh decks from like Thinny seeing all the mods. Ah, he carry. You've come to show me your progress in the Pokedex. Yep. Hmm. So you've seen 151 Pokemon. Rabbo he carry. You've recorded all the Pokemon in Sinnoh on your Pokedex. This will help immeasurably with my studies on Pokemon evolution. Look like, here it is! Greetings Professor Rowing, it's been a very long time. I'll tell you, Sinnoh certainly has a long trip I can By the way, I would do the Oak Boys if I could, especially from the original Pokemon Snap, but I just can't do it. Also John Plays can do it pretty well though, I'll be honest. Of course if it means meeting new Pokemon, it's no distance too great for the likes of us to travel. Oh, but as my old colleague Professor Oak, I should expect as much from the world's authority on Pokemon. We always used to joke where there are Pokemon, you'll find out. Good to see that hasn't changed one bit. Professor Oak, let me introduce you to my young assistant. The youngster has filled every page of the Sinnoh Pokedex for me. Ah, well, very glad to meet you. As you've heard, my name is Oak. I've been hearing a great deal about you from Professor Rowan lately. You've been exuberant and praised about a fantastic young trainer. I see that you live up to know that you've surpassed his praise. You've also got an impeccable sense of timing. You see, I had an errand to run for Professor Rowan on my visit here. You'd asked me to bring the data for the National Pokedex. So since you're here, let me upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode. After all, there are many kinds of Pokemon in the world of ours. Not true, and most of them, if you're wondering, are in the Grand Underground. Why I understand. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the National Dex. Anyway, however, I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on our behalf. Now, honestly, the Shiny Charm, in my opinion, isn't really worth it in this game. 
to make the other games. But because, you know, my completion is a bit hard, if I find time, I'll do it. Okay. I have no fear. He can't really get the job done. Yeah, in like five years, mate. Uh, by the way, Professor Oak, what compelled you to visit this region? Ah, uh, yes, I've heard that Romanus Park, aka what used to be called Pal Park, is now open. I remember correctly, it's at the end of Route 221. Ramen Park has a special system that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokemon from every region. I've come to make certain that system is operating properly. You carry, you should make an effort to visit Romanus Park too, yeah, when I'm going to the postgame fan. Oops, I'll be late for my main event, don't get going. Okay, I have the pleasure of seeing them both for you. Bye now. Cool. Off you go, as busy as ever. Now, hey, carry. I'll give to you as your reward for completing this little Pokedex. The Poke Radar. There we go, and now Shiny Hunting is completely available for us. That's the Pokemon Radar, just the Poke Radar for short. Sure. Use it and it will indicate grass patches where Pokemon are lurking. I prepared that to help my fearless system put together some Pokedex, but you took care of that. I'm sure it'll be useful for your goal of building the national decks. Sure it will be. And now if we go back to our Pokedex, right guys? We can switch between national decks and the decks by pressing R. Look at the top left guys. National decks. As you can see, not a lot has been filled in. Now the natural decks in this game, it only goes up to 493. Which is ours, yes, I believe? Right? I'm not sure what's 493. I'm pretty 493 is RCS. Let me check National Dex order. Number 493 is RCS. Yep. It's 487 is That's right. Hey guys, little disclaimer before we go into the next part of the video, which is when I started to live stream the series and record it at the same time. So if the mic sounds a little bit different, but not awful, but a little bit different, what's happened here is um after a Windows update, my OBS, which is open broadcasting software, the software that I use. The recording stream has defaulted my mic instead of it being on my uh, blue yeti which i normally use and you've been hearing throughout this episode to the default which is actually my webcam mic now it's not as bad as some webcam mics will sound but you'll notice that it's a little lower in quality but still completely hearable it's not annoying to listen to it all i've reviewed the footage and that stuff audio wise and honestly well, it's not peak what it could be, it's still fine overall. So, until now, until we beat the end of Stark Mountain, the mic will be a little bit iffy, you know, not as normal. There are still a couple bonus episodes after the end of Stark Mountain, which I'm going to be recording separately off camera, uh, which will be really sometime during when I'm doing Legends Arceus as, as a Let's Play, so... Uh, that's when the mic will get back to normal for a couple of bonus episodes here and there, you know what I'm saying? But for the most of the post game, unfortunately, which I didn't realise at the time, they're going to have to put up with this mic. Apologies in advance, but I can't go back and record it now because I've already saved the game. And two, I don't want to fake my reaction to things in the game. So anyway, let's get back to the episode. Apologies about this. What is it? Do you want to tell the battle zone? And you see, guys, now how he's not going to restrict us from like, oh, I want to like carry someone strong and he's on this boat, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Aye, aye, let's sail. Alright, let's go. Let's head to the battle zone for the first time. I've not seen this yet in the game. All the post game stuff I've not seen whatsoever, so, uh, yeah, this is all, this is actually blind to me. All this stuff actually completely blind. I'm just honestly pretty excited for it. Ah, oh, there's Buck. I see him right away. Let's go. Oh hey, Carrie, what took you so long? I'm finding you a hundred million. Alright, I'm gonna save for this. Listen to that, we're gonna become the commissioner ever. That's why I'm here to toughen up myself a little bit. So you couldn't beat the champion at me, so no you're not. And it's back, there we go. Sorry I couldn't help overhearing that. But the commissioner ever that's going to be really tough because it's talking about me. The proof that I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled, you really don't know anything, do you? Alright, I'll tell you, this is the battle zone, okay? At its far end is the volcano. If you can die, that volcano is supposed to be a treasure. So what's the big deal? I'll find the treasure first that'll make me the greatest trainer ever. And that's what I'll do, if you carry in you too, stranger. This trainer is mine. Oh, this treasure is mine, rather, sorry. But before that, I'm going to the battle tower. See ya. Really, guys. That guy just can't stay put, can he? Yep. I am bucking. If that punk thinks he can beat me, he's got another thing coming. So, do you know that zippity zippity trainer? You should chase after the guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. Oh, but you know what? You better shoot the battle tower first. I don't like your chances of getting to the volcano otherwise. Did you? I wonder if that means like a limit and they're like gonna block you from going elsewhere until you've been to the battle tower. I wonder if that's what it means, you know what I'm saying? Nothing to super duper and super run, wouldn't you agree? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. 
All right, cool. Give me Super Rod. I don't know why Super Rod's limited to the fourth game. If I'm being honest, the fourth games you don't have it limited to the fourth game. It is what it is. It's in. Yo, line it up. Try like a fishing worm in this water. All right, let's see here. Oh, so you do get aims in the Pokemon. The scope lines. Pretty sure that allows you to hit crit more easily, right? Let me check that for you guys. Is that like? Is that like? No, it's not crit. It's like accuracy of moves or like more. Uh, you know. Oh, it is crit. Yeah, I was right. I need to be able to buy a Pokemon. It's a lens for scoping at weak point that boosts the holder's critical hit ratio. That's a really good um, item if you've got like Pokemon like who have like Night Slash, stuff like that, you know. Alright, welcome to the battle park. It's your first thing, isn't it? Please step this way. If this is your first visit, you'll need to be given a point card. Point cards are only used only in the battle park. Here you go. I should have bought the point cards just for battle points so you can use that to buy like, like more competitive items and stuff like that, I think. If you need information on the point card, please add the receptions next to me. I'm the one to ask if you need any information on the facilities here in the battle park. For information on the battle rules used in the battle park, please ask the receptions across from me. Good luck. Alright, cool. Did you give me anything? No, okay. Let's do the battle park then. What's it looking like? Ooh, that's quite a, quite a big FOV, like. Compared to both areas, that's pretty cool. What is that, man? Razor Fang. Not bad, put just for... But I think Weavile, I'm pretty sure that's the for Gliscor, right? Gliscor's such a pog, like, such like a, such a sick mod, honestly. I would, I would have used it on my team if it wasn't like post game only kind of thing to, get, to be able to use it, I think. Unfortunately, but it is, but it is, you know. Let's see. I see, you've beaten the Elite Four, then you, you can now have your level 100 Pokemon under Go Hyper Training. Oh, what well, says? Seems you don't have any bottle cap or gold bottle cap. So is this the dude that will max out your IV? That's pretty cool. So they kept the bottle cap and stuff in the corner shield and put it in this game. I thought you really out. I really appreciate that. So yeah, massive, massively, massive improvement though. So obviously I don't have any battle points. We'll just see what we could get. Right, you can get calm mind, toxic. Ball cut, Earthquake, Shadow Ball, Brick Brick, Sludge Ball, Mayor Relays, Track, Energy Ball, Dragon Pulse, Wallow Wisp, Stone Age, Thunder Wave, X Scissor, Cut, Fly, Surf, all the HMs in it, yeah. That's cool. But to be honest with you, I don't see, this, I don't really think this character is really that useful because I'm looking at quite a few of these moves and to be honest, to be brutally honest, half of these you can buy in the bills in the partner store and money's really easy to get in this game. And two, a lot of these moves, like the mods that would be good with them, learn it via level up. So, kind of a bit pointless, you know what I mean? Although the other character might have something different, but I don't know. I assume you've got more like held out and stuff, right? I understand. Oh, okay, that's actually extremely good. They've got ability patches. Okay, I like that. Ability cap, so bottle cap. Rare cannons, and obviously all the EV training items, right? Lucky eggs you can actually get your so yeah, that is really really pog because uh Before getting a lucky egg in the Sinnoh game is really hard. I think you have to like feed one I steal one from a Chansey, a PD, that kind of line, you know what I mean? That is really really cool they've got a life orb. Now these are the eggs I was expecting. Life orb, toxic orb, flame orb, right powder, yeah, the choice items and muscle bands, focus sash. Yeah, they're all here. Every single one. The Protector, the Reaper Club, the Upgrade, Dubious Disc. Oh, wow! Even the Mints are in the new game. Okay, that's pretty cool. Open the Ruby. Can I saw Cool Ball Cap. There's like, and the Nature Mints in here as well. All the quality of life I am doing here. That is extremely, extremely appreciated. I will take that. We will absolutely take that. Also, I don't know why I'm walking out here. I need to walk. I'm talking to go into the Battle, the battle Tower, right? So, yeah. We didn't actually go up here. Ah, there he is. There he is, Palmer, right? Palmer, Tidy Coon, Palmer. What the? I'm so sorry about that, I was in a rush. Oh, wait, it's taken. Aren't you? You've heard Carrie from Twinley for a while, that brings back memories. So if you were here, he can't be far behind. This should be fun. See you. Fun fact for those who don't know, Palmer is the. Uh, your rival's father. Cat is canon, by the way, so it's real. What the? Oh, hey, Carrie, you came to the battle tower too, huh? I think to see how it measures up before going to start mountain. 
I like how you just talking to. Nah, it's alright. I got here on my own power. I won't take long before I see him. See here, Carrie. I'm going to toughen up here. That's good. I might play the battle tower off camera, but yeah. We'll see. Apparently, the first fight in battles of the battle tower was really easy, but the last fair is quite a bit harder, like. But basically, I, basically from the first battle tower, ba battle tower tycoon fight to from fight 21 to 50, it gets hard. 1 in 20 is part of a complete walkover, though. So, yeah. I guess that, I guess they do that so like you get a good amount of battle points from 1 to 20 and then you can up your team get some battle items so you can do 21 to 50. Although I have heard some PS stuff, like I'm not gonna lie, in terms of like, the AI is hitting like one hit KO moves that like never hit or like you have to use like 17 times a row for it to get hit, like Fisher, Shield Cold, stuff like that, like, like hitting it first in every time. Like basically hacking you out like that. I have seen some people talk about that which is why I don't want to do the full 50 but uh, I might, I might, I might do it, you never know. Yeah, it's maybe season here, cool. Okay, what was that? In the battle room, the dungeon you face is the ruined boss. Yep, that's right. You need to save focus if you want to win, that's correct. Uh, if you get a big one, you get the battle tower, you get the battle to real superstars. Yep, true. So, if it's every 7 and it's 50 battles, it must be like 7, say of 7, and then like you get the battle, battle tower, battle tower tycoon fight in the 50th. But in the 49 or 50, I can never remember. Oh, the battle tower theme, yep. Wait for it. It's just as good as the original, man. This is my first time hearing the theme, by the way. What the, what is the Pokemon games with the battle towers always got a good theme? Legit. Like, look at how good it is. You know what I mean? Like, why is the why is the battle of it's always got some of the best from the Pokemon series like all the games? Always a banger, man. It's just lobby music, man. It's not even battle music, man. You know what I'm saying? That should be crazy. That should actually be crazy. If you're a person that will let you see straight through to a Pokemon and its strengths, oh, it's the judge function, so you can check your IVs and EVs. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so now we should have access to that, and then plus again, right? And there you go, there's what you call everything, so pretty good, pretty good, decent, decent. I don't have any base, you know, stats. Jolly, Torrent, Splash, Pit, Plate, good stats overall, you know what I'm saying? Not bad, like, not bad at all. I think you've got the best of our minds. Eh, not too bad. Okay, it's a decent one. Oh, that might be why, um... Yeah, that's gonna be maybe why the amount of things for it kind of speedy because you got pretty good speed nature. Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why he got destroyed in the league when it came to physical attacks. He's got no good. That's like a two IUV defense stat. That's a really bad defense stat. Physical defense. No wonder he got straight. I mean, well, that explains why Amipop was literally overpowered. So not only does he get technician boost. His attack was also a pretty good IV as well. Oh, you actually can't see that. Um, yeah, you see me as attacking, he's a physical attacker, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that probably explains why he's so good for me, to my story playthrough. I said, right, this all that was in this area. Let's see what we got in Route 230. We might have some trainers going on, so we'll see.